take them motherfuckers. Oosh! And we did it! Yeah, buddy! Wait, what the, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what? What? What just... Wait... <laughs> we won? We won! Oh. Yeah. Okay. Rain. Yeah, right, get him, get him, I'm gonna cast Firestorm. Yeah. Oh, fuck, wrong button. Uh oh. Ha! Ah. Everything worked out better than expected. I accidentally cast it more than what? I got a punch in there. Get out my ball. Okay, what the fuck was that? Oh my god. Gabriel. Yeah, take this, you fucking scrub. Think I'm scared of you with your shitty version of a katana? My katana's way better. Suck. <laughs> To Daddy, the coveted serpent's ring, finally in my possession. For the serpent rings, shield of hope, symbol of Everest, and spell of hope, you can actually get a shitload of silver. All we need to do is go to the top of the Grand Archives and take on the three winged halberd knights wearing gold. So pull one or two of them, run around to the safe spots where they are the way, watch them murder each other, and finish off the survivors. Now, assuming you don't fuck up our kind of in this run, you kind of make it a bit slow. You can probably get around 150 items or maybe 500 items. Now, this is assuming that you have plus three items of all the soul farming equipment that I mentioned earlier. That being said, this is still a battle tactic without them. You just want to get two items, maybe around 100,000 items. Another point to mention is that with the gold circuit ring, they'll be dropping Cartman chunks like motherfucker that you can sell for long enough to mention your weapons. A fun one. If you don't travel like this in Dark Souls, you have no souls. Pun intended. One down. Oh, watch out, the other guy's shooting at you. Okay, that's great. Alright, so we go back down and go fight the boss. Race you down, motherfucker! Yeah! I win. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love the comic title. <laughs> If he wants to do anything, he's gonna have to yeah, come down here. Here he comes. There he is. He's in the water. Surprise, motherfucker! Through dung bomb as well. <laughs> Down, boy. The battle is about to start.
wish to paint a picture of a cold, dark and very gentle place. One day, it will make someone a goodly home. That's why I must see flame. Gotta see a flame, huh? I can help you with that. Check this flame out. What the Shut up! <laughs> Don't you touch that cop. Don't. Don't you touch that cop. Why'd you guys turn the goddamn fucking cop? Listen up, fuckos. Papa Pickle's about to learn you a thing or two. Now, all armor in Dark Souls has the same stats. They just look different. There is no meta, just retards running around with big fuck off swords. And scissors. But the real truth is, fuck souls. Acquire items. They are love. They are life. You should dogmatically ignore all enemies in the pursuit of sticky white item goodness. All you have to lose is your dignity. If you lose souls too, well, <laughs> you did good, scrub. Gabriel and I have been using this kind of method for playing Dark Souls for years, and it's always served us well. The only thing it gives us is a, a crippling inability to play the game normally. But hey, I got great soul drinks, so you. Fuck you! Storming through the wall. I saw your little things go off the edge. Okay, Gale's figured out that the wall is impenetrable. Lap still hasn't because he's an amnesiac. Fucking idiot. How it feels to chew five gum. Italy. Wait. Wait, no, but how the fuck do I get home? Guys? Continuing my tutorials series on Ring Knights. Now, if you've seen anything about the Ring City or played multiplayer on Dark Souls 3 recently, chances are you've seen these fuckers. Ring Knights. Not to be confused with the Knight's Ring. I know, I know, it's all incredibly confusing, but please bear with me for just a moment. Now, the normal Sword and Shield type fuckers aren't a big deal. In fact, most of the time they just kind of seem to willingly kill themselves, but they, the spear guys, they're a real pain in my ass. And not just because they're super fucking awkward. Now, looking at this idiot standing on top of a chandelier, you might be thinking, Pickle, how could this literal asshole on legs ever be a real serious threat? And well, they can be if you're not careful, but thankfully, they aren't too bright. Watch this. Easily led. Like their double meta fuck, scissor fuck, cunt sword wielding cousins, they can be defeated with a little clever maneuvering, a cliff, or a railing they just can't see. Oh my god. I promise you, you follow my tips that I've given you just now? And the ring knights will be dead before you even get there. Just like this one. Look at that pose. Beautiful posture. Great back. This is a man who always made sure that he was sitting properly in his seat. Tables are for glasses, not for asses. Pickle out. Alright, I got a report. You handle one, I handle the other. This will be easy picking. Oh, you can't make that shit back on you. Oh. Whoops. I am determined to punch him to death. 
Use your first, it's not fear. Take this! <laughs> yeah! Best of cups. Ah, uh, we're greeting this right away. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ha! Take that! Revenge! Cunt. No, 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 no! <laughs> I fucking hate those guys!